kind of getting like a lot of anxiety from thinking about ordering i don't know why <laughs> i'm also really hungry but i have no money the way i'm getting this is through points so also i don't understand how fucking points work like how are you gonna tell me i just get stars and then whenever i get a lot of stars you get me a free drink like what do the stars do what can i get started for you hello um do y'all have oat milk today um unfortunately we do not can i get you anything that's else? that's perfectly fine can i just have an iced latte with almond milk and vanilla that wasn't too bad <laughs> This lighting kind of makes me look like an angel, hello. It's been way too fucking long since I filmed anything. I'm doing a little Q&A to catch up, maybe get to know me if you're new. I recently discovered that half of my viewers aren't subscribed, so fucking subscribe, weirdo. The hell are you doing? For sip! I've never had this drink before, actually. Would I get again? I don't know. But it's still good. It's an iced latte with vanilla and almond milk. Here's the thing. With Starbucks flavoring, like, it kind of makes the drink warm in a weird way. And that's what I don't like about this drink. Oh my god, do y'all like my hair? Also, I'm having kind of a bad hair day, so I'm sad that y'all have to see me like this. But hopefully, I don't get into another rut and I continue making videos. But I think it will be better now that I'm out of school. I'm fucking done with my freshman year of college. Speaking of accomplishments, that was a really fucking good segue. Let's get on to the first question. What is your most successful, happy, slash positive moment you've had in the last week? Okay, so at work, oh yeah, ah, I have a job. I work at Olive Garden. In my most recent like bread shift, a coworker of mine was there and I really like him. I was working with him and he's a line cook. So we're like right next to each other. He just kept like asking me about like shit I liked and then, <laughs> This almost made me cry. He just kept cooking me food. He just kept like sliding me over some like french fries, some some of those little donuts that you dip in the chocolate. Oh my God. He just kept making me food. And it was the sweetest thing in the world because I was like, I love you too. Next question is how am I really doing? I don't really know. I think I just need change and I need something new in my life. I feel good mentally right now. I did not last night. Last night was a weird night. Not gonna lie, I did think about deleting all my social media, like just disappearing for a month, not talking to anyone for a month. So I don't know what that's about, but I'm okay. <laughs> okay, this one says, describe your significant other. Um, I don't have one, so. Um, oh no, this might actually get me canceled from the internet they asked are you a harry styles fan i don't dislike harry styles i would not be like hmm i want to listen to some harry styles but whenever it's on because my friends like harry styles i like it you know what i actually really enjoy fine line if that's what it's called i would put that one on by myself oh okay this one's cool meaning behind your tattoos so i only have one <clears throat> it's these little faces honestly this one doesn't have much meaning. I got it whenever I turned 18, I thought it was cool. But I will tell you, I plan on getting two tattoos pretty soon. I'm getting, I'll put it on the screen actually. It's this little like symbol that my dad puts on like his drawings and stuff. I really think that would be cool to have on my wrist. Like right, that's gonna hurt. The tattoo artist that does this does like really cool portrait type things. I'll put one on the screen and I'll put like his Instagram name. He's actually really cool. And if you're in the DFW area, he is located in Arlington. So I'm gonna get like a portrait of my siblings on somewhere around here. And obviously those have a lot of meanings. So I'll let you know whenever I get that. What does the ultimate future look like for me? I don't know if they meant like my personal future or like the future of the world. So I'll say both. I think my ideal future for myself definitely involves a family. I really, really love kids. I want like two kids. I want to live somewhere where they're going to fucking be happy. I, okay, here's my thing. I don't want to live in Texas where it's like an eight hour drive to get out of here, you know? I want them to be able to drive like 30 minutes and get into New York. Like that's what, that's my goal. For them to just feel free and it will make me feel free as well. That's going to be cool. Can't even process my future past my 40s, but like up until then that's my goal and for the future of the world like people um accept one another you know what my perfect world consists of no republicans 
Oh, this is actually such a cute question. How have you felt about yourself from now to when you were 10? And what would you say to your 10 year old self? I wanna cry. The person who asked this question was my friend whenever I was 10 years old. <laughs> ah. Whenever I was 10 years old, I mentally felt older, if that makes sense. Like, I was raising my siblings. I don't wanna get too into it, but I was basically a parent at 10 years old. My mindset was definitely more mature and I didn't feel like a kid. So I kind of already felt how I feel now, if that makes sense. Obviously, like I've learned shit and I've grown. You know what? My maturity is kind of the same as a 10 year old. Now I feel really confident. I mean, there's like a constant crisis going on in my head, but like overall, I feel pretty good about myself. If I could say anything to my 10 year old self, I would say that what you know isn't all that is to kind of explore yourself and kind of find yourself instead of jumping into a bubble and a box and those really pretty girls that you want to be. You actually don't want to be them. You actually have a crush on them. Also, you're not a girl. That's exactly what I would say to my 10 year old self. My good old pal asked, talk about your experiences with systematic structure of society, oppression, and capitalism. Um, honestly, fuck capitalism, but I don't have too much on my brain right now about it with oppression and like society structure, that shit, that shit makes you question everything that you are. I've experienced oppression with my sexuality, like the society standard of like a man and a wife, that still affects me. I think I'm gonna make a whole video about my experience with bisexuality. It makes me question if I'm only attracted to men because I'm told to. Um, I'm not a girl but I still experience that. The systematic structure and all of these things are completely up to us. The system wants us to consume and believe and act on these things, but ultimately it's our choice. Yeah, that's what I gotta say about that. My friend asked, if you can have dinner with an influencer, who would it be? I think Nicole Raffi because she has this sense of humor as my uncle and I miss my uncle, so. <laughs> if you can go anywhere in the world, where would you go? That's a really good question. If you said, Keely, I can take you anywhere right this second, where would you go? Um, to the beach, somewhere. Oh God, I wanna go to the beach so fucking bad. I don't care where it is at this point. In general, I really, 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 really wanna go to Oregon. What's your comfort smell? Fucking lavender and- Y'all ain't gonna believe this shit, besties. My phone fucking overheated. I had to cool her off a little bit and location change i'm at home that was so fun i thought i lost all the footage 30 minutes of footage down the fucking drain we were on the question what's your favorite or what's your comfort smell and oh did i answer that um yeah lavender nog champa mm, nog champa just reminds me of my friends and oh it brings me so much comfort i genuinely have two fucking questions left and my neighbor wouldn't leave um, but finally, my friend Morgan asked something that always makes you feel better. <coughs> my cat, good food, and sleep always, always make me feel good. Last question, what's my favorite fast food place? I'm gonna have to say Taco Bell because it's cheap as hell, it's very customizable, and whenever I was vegan, um, I can still eat it. It's the most versatile and it's very cheap, so that's all the questions gamers ah we did it it only took all morning that's okay i had fun my coffee is almost gone should i chug it right now for y'all i honestly miss y'all um i'm kind of sad that this video is ending i hope to make more videos now that school's over and now that i have some sp some free time so please so please let me know like what you're gonna see from me. I promise you I'll probably make it. Okay, here's what you should comment. Nobody's gonna do it, but here's what you should do. Comment what you want to see from me in the future. Tell me your worst fear ever. Tell me what your favorite animal is. Please do those and I'll give you a kiss, okay? So do them right now, you have 10 seconds. Just kidding, here's your kiss. Bye.